Hey, I hope you all are doing great. Thank you so much for clicking my video. I'm back again with another wig show and tell. And this wig is brought to you by the brand Outre. If you are interested in this wig, I will be sure to leave a website link in the description box of online beauty supply stores you can purchase from. The wig that I have today is Outre Perfect Hairline 13 by 6 Glueless Synthetic HD Lace Frontal Wig in the style Moniz. And I have her in the color DRFF2 slash Dark Honey Melt. Here's a close-up of the inside cap construction. It comes with a 13 by 6 lace frontal parting space. Behind the frontal, there are two combs with another comb in the nape area and adjustable straps. This wig was made on a ventilated cap. As for the hair texture, it's like a silky texture, but has a very light, coarse texture to it. This is how the wig comes straight out of the package. Here is a close-up of the hairline. The hairline comes pre-plucked. You also get baby hairs on the hairline as well. So I'm just going to do a quick styling on the mannequin head. I'm going to take my Andis hot comb on a temperature setting 10 and I'm going to press down the middle part so it can be a little bit more flatter to my liking. I'm also going to press out the hairline a little bit by the forehead just so the curls can frame my face. I don't want any baby hairs on my forehead, so I'm just going to pluck out some of the baby hairs. After I'm all done styling the wig, I'm gonna take my eyebrow scissors and cut right along the hairline in little zigzag motions. I like cutting in little zigzag motions because it helps make the lace not so noticeable compared to when you cut it in a straight line. Underneath the lace, I went ahead and applied some Maybelline Fit Me Powder, but y'all know how I like to do it. I only apply it to the spots I'll be showing, so that's the parting space and hairline. Now it's time for the wig install. When I apply makeup powder underneath the lace, I use it as a lace tint. Right there in the back is where I hooked my adjustable straps. Underneath the wig, I am going to go in with a brown stocking cap. And when I put the wig on, I like to make sure the elastic band that they inserted on the inside is by my nape area. And then I throw the rest of the wig on. After I got the wig in place, I was already seeing that so far it's not bad at all, but the lace could use a little bit more blending in with my skin. So when the lace is still a little too lighter than my skin, I like to go in with foundation. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna take one pump of foundation and wipe some of the product off with my brush, then wipe the rest of the product on top of the lace onto the hairline. I'm sorry that I showed this a lot in my videos. I just like to show what I do for anybody that's new and for anybody that's curious on how I got my end results. The hairline on the wig was a little longer than my hairline, so to get it to match up with my hairline, I cut off some of the lace by the air tabs. Next up, I'm going to use the Wig Dealer Melting Spray to help hold down my lace for this wig show and tell. The lace is already laying flat on my hairline, but I would like some security. So I'm just going to spray one layer of lace on top, I mean of spray, <laughs> on top of the hairline. Then I go in with the blow dryer on warm and I blow dry it until it's completely dry. I only sprayed the sprayed by the air tabs up to my temple. Um, the lace is already blending and really nice with my skin on my forehead So I feel like there's no need to spray it and it already fits nice and snug So I'm confident it's not going to slide back I apply some makeup powder to the parting space and the hairline on the wig. It just helps hide the knots on the wig and grid and also help the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. Okay, beautiful, right here is my end result. And how cute is this affordable wig? This whole balayage and ombre-ness that they got going on is super cute. And then the blonde streak in the front that's framing the face and it just blends right in with the ends is a super gorgeous touch. One thing I love about synthetic wigs, I love how a lot of them blend the color into the next color. The way the roots fade into the brown and the blonde, even the way the brown fade into the blonde in the ends is really nice. It's like they went for a professional look and I love it. And look at the waves. The waves came out really nice. I love the fact that I went in and combed out the waves and it still reverted back to a really nice wave pattern. 
The hair density, I would say is 150%. So that's like three bundles with a 13 by six frontal. As for a shine, I love the fact that this wig is not shiny at all on camera and in person. As for the hairline, I love the fact that the hairline came pre-plucked. I did not have to go in and pluck the hairline at all. As for the density on the baby hairs that they left out, it's a really nice density. You could go in and use all the baby hairs if you like. I'm just more of a two soups on the temple slash adding some sideburns type of girl. The length of the wig on me, I would say is about 18 inches, not stretched out, and my height is a five six. I already know y'all is wondering, Kara. Is this wig big head friendly? And it definitely is. It is definitely big head friendly. I do have some stretch cap room material left in there. My head circumference is 22 inches. And I do believe if you have a larger head, you can get away with it. As for a smaller head, a lot of y'all already know uh, what I always say. Crisscross the adjustable straps, or you can even add a knot to the elastic band that they inserted on the inside to help make it more snug. My mom, she likes to take the adjustable straps in the back and tie them together or hook them together. I like the fact that I split the hair in the back, my tracks are showing and you can't see my wig cap. So that's a plus for the people out there that like splitting the hair because I am definitely one of them. <sighs> I love me a deep parting space. You could do a few more styles on there and to me, the deeper the parting space, the more natural a wig look. When I was styling the wig, I got zero tangling. As for shedding, shedding was very, very low. I personally love it, and I think it makes a great beginner-friendly wig, especially if you want to get into the frontal look. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch.